Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. And in front of us is a 1973 Toyota Land Cruiser, the FJ40. If you're looking for a good Land Cruiser, not a project, dependable, with amazing looks, this is the rig for you. This one is fresh off a of restoration, does have a 350 V8 swap in it. The engine has less than 200 miles, so still well within the break-in period of that uh, 350. So four-speed manual transmission, four-wheel drive with a uh, uh, splitter for the differential, really making this thing ultra capable with all the looks as well. So along with that swap, we also have front disc brakes. That's not a factory option that came along until 73 or 75 rather, so this 73 is what I meant to say. Those are uh, been swapped out. Suspension has been slightly modified as well. It's sitting on a pair of uh, fresh springs up front. And those are the old man emus. So rust-free body, can't wait to get into that engine. That engine is extremely well built. It was actually slated to go into uh, another project this guy was going uh, that he was building and then decided this Toyota needed it instead. And uh, what a great fit. So soft top only, that is a best top. Rides nice and high because it's not sitting on the on the factory roll bar it's actually sitting on that uh, best top support so a lot of different options with this one it is the soft top only no hard top available for this one but those doors you can just loosen those up and go with a half door in the summertime it would look excellent with just a bikini top but if you want a good three season uh, Jeep, this is, your, uh, this is your option right here. So nice new top, snug fit. This rear fender arches aftermarket obviously it really helps complete the look. Painted to match. Wheels all the way around, matching spare as well. And those are BFGs, ATs, great tire, perfect look for this rig. Plenty of meat, but not overdone into big mud balloon tires. Nice seats, vinyls. All the way through, there's a little side split in the back. I'll mention that and point that out. Good dash, brand new auto meter gauges. There's your miles 143, 143 miles uh, on this build. So that's your splitter, transmission, four wheel drive, all your fans work, lights, interior lights. We'll get this going and take a look, take a listen. But right aligned on the interior for protection. Excellent floor. Great metal all the way through. I realize that's a little dark, I apologize. We'll get to the back, but those seats are in great shape. Painted to match dash. I showed that split in the photos. The rest of the seats are in great shape. Excellent floor and then protect it with the rhino lining as well. So fun to have those jump seats. To 
Let me get a little focus on that. Come on, camera, you can do it. Glare's fighting me a bit. I've got photo... Why is that just not coming out? There we go. Ending in 3812. And why I mention that is the body does match the frame. Three eight one two. That is a two. Um, so that is <clears throat> good to know that this this FJ has been together its whole life. Sometimes you will get a a body swap, but then and frame match up. Let's take a look at the engine. New springs, they're nice and stiff. That was a little stiff as well. Just to release your, uh, your support there. But brand new installation. Could have had this tidied up a little bit more, but so it goes, it's four wheel drive. Headers, freshly built, 350, just installed. It's got a nice big healthy cam in it. Extremely well built. Edelbrock carb, two barrel, and you do see the electronic choke there. Upgraded ignition. So if you're looking for an FJ that you can just absolutely daily drive with the disc brakes, rock solid engine, easy startup, this could be your one. Get your auxiliary fan kicking on. Your lights are good. And you do have your your brights and your bright indicator, turn signal. All your gauges, RPM. Fuel, and I know my fuel's super low. Oil pressure, water pressure, speedometer, odometer work. Get all new hoses down there. Your heater core. The heater works, blows cold. Fresh. Top mounted wipers. I guess you have to figure out how to know that how to <laughs> get those to stop in the right spot. Chrome tip, dual exhaust. lights and turn signals work. So this is Shep here at Sun Valley Auto Club. I can be reached at 208-721-1973. If you'd like to be the uh, 
lucky person driving this one around, just give me a shout. Once again, 208-721-1973. I'm Shep, the Sun Valley Auto Club. Thanks for taking your time to watch this, and we'll catch you soon.